Okay, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to the Warrior Nation F1 2012 podcast. I'm joined tonight by my uh, very unwell co-presenter, Bofar. Say hi, Bofar. Hi, Bofar. <laughs> <laughs> Smart ass. Um, I also have, well, I was going to have, I was hoping for a few drivers, but unfortunately we just got Kerr. So, uh, hello, Kerr. Yeah, hello, Kerr. You're not unwell, are you? Uh, mentally. Uh, so we'll get right into it. Um, how did you think your race went last week? Uh, uh, it went wet well. Or up until the safety car, I had an excellent race. I was up, I was battling for fourth position. I had a very good lead over Ferrari fan. Up until you know, a lovely safety car took my lead away. I was down the field and then I spun and swore profusely on the comms, as you probably will hear. Uh, so it could have been better. But that is racing, that is the stuff that you have to go through to get to sleep. You overtook me uh, just after the safety car. It kind of dropped me a bit. The person in front of me wasn't following the safety car or following everyone else. It dropped off. He dropped off quite a bit. So I was stuck behind him and I didn't get a good start. And you quickly passed me, didn't you? Did I? I don't remember. Well, I, I, you, uh, yeah, you did. And then you span and I... Drove past you, I saw the whole thing, it was quite amusing. Uh, uh, you must have been the one behind me, and then it was must have been Finbot. Yeah. Uh, yeah I did get a good jump on you at, after the safety car, didn't I? Yeah. I didn't quite expect the... Um, well, I, I, I've never um, been in a race with a safety car before, so I didn't know about the restart and how it worked, so I think I uh, ballsed up a bit. And I think I may have lost a position, I can't remember. But it was a bit of a shot coming around the last corner and, and then everyone's sort of pulling away and I was like, oh, what should I do? I better put my uh, right uh, my right foot down. Um, how did your race go, very far? It was well. It went well, actually. It was good. Uh, I uploaded my race footage um, onto the YouTube channel, so if anyone wants to see that, um, look for my onboard with Bofar footage. Uh other race footages are available. Yes, they are, but you just really want to watch mine. That's why. Uh, <laughs> and, um, yeah, I think my race was good. I think uh, for the last couple of races, my pace has been quite strong. Uh, You're coming on strong in the last few races, aren't you? Yeah, coming on really strong. I think that's because I've actually bothered to kind of put the time in to practice. Um mm-hmm. Yeah, I think definitely if you put the practice in, you, your time is definitely pay off. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I think that makes a massive difference. I mean, I've got a lot of pace. I mean, we'll get, I'm getting ahead of myself here, but I've got quite a bit of pace in Austin. I think that's only because my flatmate's been away for the last week and I've been able to really um, get some uh, good quali- uh, good uh, practice time in. My race, my race pace was pretty good. Uh, I found myself fighting with Tuppers, unbelievably, for third place. Um, me, uh, Josh, and Tuppers were were having a bit of a good scrap um, towards the end of the race after the safety car. Um, I think I was faster than Josh for most of the race anyway. I, I spent most of the time behind him. Consistent, Josh. <laughs> Consistently oh, crashing. Dear. Consistently crashing into and being crashed into, being the crashy and the crasher, I think. <laughs> crashy. <laughs> it's it's not wrong though. No. Uh, and uh, controversy reigned on the la- on the final lap uh, when he had no wing. He had no front wing apparently, but I didn't know. And so I was catching him at the rate of knots, and Ferrari fan was also in there. And uh, I passed them uh, in the complex towards by the hotel, the shiny changing colour hotel. And uh, he tagged me on the back. I thought I was past him, but he tagged me, and I spanned, and he got 20 second penalty, and he was fuming after the race. Yeah, he was, wasn't he? I think we'll play a clip of it here. Is um, Josh fuming? What are you blaming me for? You shouldn't have gone for that overtake, man. What overtake? 
Well, you know the one into that, um, you know, the two right-hander, and then you have to break the right-hander again? No, what are you doing? My tires are fucked. No, you left the door open, and I was ahead of you. I had, I had no front wing. You should have given me, like, a bit more space or something. I, I had no idea. You're not on the mic telling me that you have no front wing. I can't yeah, hear my well, guy because I'm... I don't so give a crap, how to, be like to know. You just gave us a 20-second penalty. I... I don't see what else I could have done to that. There's... You're joking me, right? There's no chance. No, I'm not joking you. Of course I'm not joking you. Um, we do have, uh, this afternoon, Tuppers has posted a um, uh, driving etiquettes and guidelines and penalties uh, procedures uh, on the forums. So I think um, a lot of... Um, disagreements and discrepancies in the race will be solved very quickly uh, especially as a lot, lot of people are recording now and um, uh, accidents can be um, reviewed very quickly yeah I think in the heat of the moment you can uh, view uh, an incident fairly biasedly yeah if you're uh, you're racing for that position it, you don't care about anyone else's position yeah so it but can everyone's be very biasedly same. Okay, well, I recorded my best result so far of the uh, season at Abu Dhabi. I finished in ninth. I got two points, which brings my total to a three. Uh, but actually, I, I I thought I was doing pretty well at Abu Dhabi. Um, I I was running fourth for the first four laps until I spun out. Um, <laughs> my pace was pretty good. Um, I probably shouldn't have stopped uh, for the when the safety car came out to put options on. As um, I think Kerr found out in the last lap, that my tyres were just bright red, and I I was losing a back end on every single corner. But did Kerr, you very, you... Um, sorry. Did you just say you never stopped? I did stop, yeah, for options, but I was on primes, which probably would have seen me to the end of the race. Fun enough, that's the exact same thing. My, I had a two-stop strategy for that race, and my pitting time was when. That a safety car came out, so that's when I oh, really? did for options. I was on a one stop, and I was literally pulling into the pits as the as the safety car announcement popped up on my screen. So for me, it, it wasn't so bad. But quite a lot of people, I thought I thought it was going to be really bad because I went down all the way down to like seventh or something. But then loads of people came into the pits, kind of like a couple of laps later, I guess when they were loud. I don't know. So I think it worked out for me quite well. I think I probably could have finished maybe seventh or eighth if I didn't uh, didn't pit. But Kerr was a, a gentleman in the last few laps and didn't and let me keep my position. I don't know about gentleman. I'm more like an enraged gentleman. Well, yeah, an enraged gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> I just cannot get round you without touching you. Ah, oh, that's uh, let's go with it. You like touching you people, like don't touch you? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> I think that brings us quite nicely into uh, Banter of the Week, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Shall we play the clip? Yes, we shall. Here it is. It's going to honk as well, isn't it? Yeah, Ooh, let's get a treacle. stink that toilet. Yeah, <laughs> treacle. <laughs> oh, please, someone tonight, drop, no. drop treacle into the audio. <laughs> treacle. <laughs> uh. Both I'm going to milk you, and Josh, I'm going to cover you in treacle. <laughs> Come in for you, Josh. I'm going to milk you. <laughs> Freddy's, Freddy's, Freddy's. <laughs> How do you like it now? Put sugar on top. Uh, sweetener, less calories. Treacle. Aye, uh, you need the calories. <laughs> <laughs> Treacle. Okay, that bit of banter was about you being in the toilet whilst you're in the toilet. What, what uh, bit was I in the toilet? Uh, so you had to set. You were drinking like lots of coffee or something, or lots of energy drinks. Ah, uh -huh, right. Okay. Yeah, and you said I need to pee after we'd finished kind of like the first kind of take of it. And then whilst you were gone, uh, Stephen said, uh, his pee is going to be like treacle. 
Uh, I wasn't even here for it. Yeah, I know. And uh, we had a good old laugh. I can tell. That's the level of banter you expect to hear from us. Um, Claire, could you tell us about the standings there and uh, what fights are going on, or still going on, and what fights are now over? Only if you say please. Please. Yay. Uh, well, one of the fights that are over is for the World Drivers' Championships, which has now been confirmed to be Tupper's. He won it in the last race there because Shiraz was had some technical issues and couldn't participate, so his Mercedes was out, which also meant that Williams have tied up the Constructors' Championship as well, so a wee congratulations to Tuppers and Williams and their magnificent season. They're turning out to be like Red Bull, only Oh, you may. Um, How's the uh, fight for eighth place going? It is... It's a very important fight because uh, that's the last uh, position you get to pick your own team and uh, second driver. It is indeed. It is currently held by the thinnest of the bots who thinks he's James Bond. He has 72 points. Steven has a nice 67. So it's close going into the final Excuse three me. races then. Yeah, and Vernome is right behind him with 58. Which, you know, is a bad point. And then both our own little podcast hosty person with the plaque is on 43. With the plaque? I don't know. With the plaque? Don't drink and do podcasts. (laughs) (laughs) Great. So anyway, let's move on. Um, We've got the race tomorrow. Or if you're, you're watching this... Uh, on Sunday, or listening to this on, on Sunday, then it will be today. Or if you listen to it on Monday, it was yesterday. Yesterday, yeah. And so on and so on. Yeah. Anyway, the race on Sunday. Uh, it's Austin. How are you feeling about it, Kerr? I despise Austin. Not the actual place, the track. I I, I just hate it. What okay. do you like about it? The corners. <laughs> I just, it's the S mainly. It's... I have to suffer the S corner and the British Grand Prix and the Japanese Grand Prix. Why America has as well just hurts my insides and makes me sad. I don't like the first section. I don't seem to be very quick around it. Uh, and the first corner as well, it's it's so wide. It's it's not as bad as like the the corner on the end of the long straight in India, and the back straight there. But it's, it's really wide turning, and then the following road, kind of like through the apex, is very narrow. We had a trial race, didn't we? And loads of people crashed there. It's quite ridiculous. And it's quite hard to get your apex right turning at the right point because it's so wide. You know how that uh, practice session we had, where I believe you left just close to the end? Yeah. Yeah. I, it's, I think you were in it as well, Ollie. The, I had set the fastest lap about five or six lap this in and then halfway through OXA set the fastest lap and I was like right I'm having it and took over a second off his time and it stood till the end and, uh, I'm sure uh, Stephen and I were joking about let's just use these as the stats for the race this is excellent <laughs> yeah. yeah I think I, I was racing towards the front as well I mean me and you had a had a good squabble the first test yeah. session we were doing on uh, Tuesday quite we good having some fun a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to the race, actually. I think it'll be a good one. Because yeah, so, we are similarly play- paced. Yeah, we are. We're in, what, a Marussia and a Ferrari. So, uh, oh, for red and black? Yes. Well, the, the Ferrari's not black, really, is it? It's got tyres. It's a bit racist. Yeah. yeah, it's quite racist. You should say sorry to all the black tyres. Yeah. And NWA. Well, I'm feeling pretty confident about the race on Sunday. I think I can probably challenge for maybe a fifth or a sixth place tomorrow night, as long as I don't get punted off. Well, actually, I've uh, wrote your name on a bit of the outside wall that I think you're going to have a wee kiss with. It is that. I don't like that final corner, though. <laughs> you don't so, like any corners? No, no, I, I actually quite like the S's. If you can get them right, you can put you know half a second um, on your lap time. Off. Uh, sorry, off your lap time, yeah. And if you get them wrong, you can you know, add two or three seconds quite easily. I think the qualifying time will be all made up um, if you get those S's right or not. Uh, well, I went from having a qualifying time on the primes of 1.43, and I've now got it down to 1.39. That's not bad at all. What are you complaining about? I just hate the track. I've got some amount of pace on it, but it's pickable. <laughs> 
Okay, well, I think that will uh, wrap it up for tonight. Thanks, guys, for popping in. See you all at the race. Bye. Bye.